Welcome to week two of my new Groganics regimen alongside my Afro G products. So this is my hair after one week. My twists look very nice, fat and healthy, which is exactly what I was going for. Thank you. So we're going to start off with the Groganics hair fattening shampoo. And then I'm going to follow up with the two minute reconstructor by Afro G. Welcome to another wash day with Neek. Hey. Alright, so anyway, I just finished washing my hair with, <laughs> sorry, the Growth Think Hair Organic. So this is week two. And then I use, sorry, I'll show that. I use this today. Alright, so now my hair is just waiting. super wet Ooh. my hair is so soft y'all and look how tight my curl is which to me that always signifies good health how tight my curls are okay all right so i'm going to put this in all right now um i have tried this before and it is super light like it says it is. Um, so what I'm concerned about is do I still need to do a deep conditioner afterwards? Because I'm not sure if it's going to give me a comb. I'm not sure if it's going to actually give me the moisture that I need. But we're going to try it out and find out. What I did want to mention though is when you wash your hair, make sure that you are doing some type of scalp treatment. I recommend these two by TPH. They got Master Cleanse, which is a scalp wash. And then you have Never, Never Salty by TPH, which is a sugar scrub for your scalp. And you can also scrub your hair strands with it if you choose to. Um, if you want to do that in place of shampoo, you can. I have before. Um, but I like to do this before washing with this just because it actually cleanses my scalp and it opens my pores so that when I do shampoo, I can feel the peppermint. I can feel the eucalyptus. Um, today, I didn't use this, and I def definitely can tell the difference. It's not as tingly as it was the last time. So, um, that's okay. That's not a negative thing, but I like to feel that tingle. So, I'll never go without scrubbing my scalp again. My wash is out. That's why I was falling all over the place with that shit in it. So, ain't nothing in here. I didn't use all of this. So, I really like this product, okay? So, with that being said, I'm getting ready to put my conditioner in. I need to go get me a comb. It's all the way over there. I'm going to get me a comb, and then you're going to see me apply this. I believe this only stays there for about five minutes. Yeah, from three to five minutes. So, basically, it says to shampoo your hair with the um, hair fattening shampoo that I just used. And then apply a generous amount of the volumizing conditioner from the root to the ends. Leave it in for three, 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 <laughs> three to five minutes. And then you're going to rinse thoroughly. And then after that, you're going to apply your head full of hair. And then you can start your hair per usual. Okay, so the girl will be back. Let me go get my comb.
Look, there got my fucking code in.
going to, well, I tried to comb through my hair, but y'all, I do not have comb through hair. Like, I absolutely hate <laughs> that instruction say comb this shit through. Like, there ain't no combing through, okay? Ooh, I absolutely hate combing my hair, okay? Especially when I have conditioner in it. But it's all good. I did what I could. I like doing this. It looks like I'm fluffing it out, but I'm really just making sure that the conditioner gets on my roots, okay? Alrighty, so I'm going to let this sit for five minutes and then I will be back and let you know how I feel. Okay, so I just washed out this. And I actually think I am going to go ahead and do a deep conditioner just because um, my hair just it's not soft like I like it. It does feel very strong. It feels very healthy. So I'm not complaining. It just doesn't have that softness that I typically like. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we are gonna condition it with the TPH, make it rain, hydration conditioner. And I'm gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes while I make my um I'm about to make pineapple ginger juice. So while I make my pineapple ginger juice, I'm gonna let this conditioner sit. And then I'll come back with the final verdict. Once I do all of that. Ooh. But so far I am enjoying the Groganic line and doing the full regimen i definitely can tell a difference in my hair um i did not have a lot of shedding at all this go around which was beautiful that's what i was going for not only that but um like i said i stuck to the low manipulation i only redid my twist twice once during the middle of the week and then the second time last night as i did my pre pull um, so I did not manipulate my hair, but my twists were nice and fat as long as I kept my hair moisturized, which this girl, I'm going to take pictures. I wasn't in the mood for picture taking this week, so I didn't take any pictures, but this week going forward, I will definitely take pictures to show you what my twists look like when they are healthy and happy versus how they look when they are dry and miserable um but my hair strands are definitely fattening which i really like and i say that because this hair back here is struggling but it feels very nice and thick it appears to be thick as far as you can see it all right this is a noisy ass conditioner <laughs> My hair is nice and saturated. Who's TPH? I love you, but this damn parfum gotta go. That shit stinks. This is too much of it. Alright. So I'm gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes. And then what I like to do when I don't. Instead of wrapping it, I'm going to use my towel bonnet. I call it a bonnet all the time. My towel is hurting. And I'm going to wrap it. Hey, hey. 
for them bitches hell terrible when I say Alright, <laughs> so we'll be back in 30 minutes. <laughs> it's the wrong side. Okay, so a whole hour later, my hair feels a lot better. Now that I put that TPH moisturizing conditioner in it. So... One thing that I did research, um, cause I did see that there's a hair care line, a black hair care line that is using lanolin oil, which I bought a long time ago. I got liquid lanolin, lanolin oil a long time ago. And it is known as an emoilant, I think that's how you say it, which basically is a sealer oil. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm going to put my shea butter in my hair, <laughs> my Jamaican black castor oil, then I'm going to seal it with the liquid lanolin. I'm going to put my um, shower cap on and let that sit for like 30 minutes before I, I start my retwist. But yeah, my hair look good. Feels good. Very happy. I don't like the people in this house. <laughs> oh, there are some weird individuals in this world. I will never understand people. I try so hard, but I guess some things are not meant for me to understand. So I'm just going to allow my to work. This is temporary. In a few months, I will not be here. So, not worried about it. Don't let people be miserable in their own misery. I can't do nothing to help you. I got my own shit to be miserable or happy about. And I choose to be happy because we are in the middle of a pandemic. People are dying and losing their actual family and friends i am grateful blessed and highly favored throughout this COVID 19 pandemic i have not caught the virus thank god knock on wood because i don't want to um i've only had one friend that actually caught it god bless her soul um i've been financially stable throughout this entire pandemic i've had a roof over my head I have everything I could possibly dream of. My business is going well. So I don't have anything to be miserable about. Therefore, I just ignore miserable people because I don't have, I don't have the energy for y'all, for real. We got bigger things to be worried about right now. Besides why you personally don't like life, okay? Nobody gives a shit, nobody. So this lanolin, liquid lanolin is kind of thick. Let me show you, ooh, see how thick that is. So I'm not gonna use a lot because once it heats up, it's gonna stretch, see how, ooh. So I'm like, it was glue. Okay. So I'm just gonna pat it around because I wanna make sure everybody gets some, especially on my ends. Okay. So now let's see. Get my edges. You're in love. Exactly. I'm in love with myself and my life. Sorry. Other people don't love their life in their situation. It's not my motherfucking problem. At all. Find a lie. Get a grip on reality, baby. A lot of people are blessed and don't even know it. Just walk around every day mad and miserable. And they bless beyond these people. I don't have nowhere to fucking go at night. I don't have no food to eat. And they find a reason to smile every day. Yeah, it's the people that got it all that always got to find something to be fucking miserable about. 
<laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna let this sit for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna do my, my usual style routine that I shared with you in the last video. So, week two wash day is done. I'm gonna let this sit for an hour, bump 30 minutes because I need a break and I'm gonna chill until it's time for me to retwist my hair, all right? Love you. Thank you for watching. Stay happy and protect your energy. Don't let miserable people bring you down because they're going to try, especially during this pandemic. Hello, my dogs in this bitch. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. Tired sound for me. Tired sound for me. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Please stay tuned for part two. See you shortly. Bye.